Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm going to be doing this like rosy, bronzy look. I felt inspired when I saw this picture of Shay Mitchell and the picture is right here. I'll try to like put it over here so maybe like you can see it better. But this is a picture. It's on her Instagram. It's just like a very rosy and like brown type of look. I try to recreate it even though it might come out a little more pink. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. So first I'm going to start by priming my face. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Cover All Primer. And this one looks like this. This is just going to allow for my foundation to go on smoothly and evenly. And it's just going to moisturize my face a little bit. I'm just going to apply it all over my face and blend that in. For foundation, I'm going to go in with the Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And this was in, this is in the color Natural Beige. I usually stay away from this foundation just because like I have very dry skin. And I feel like sometimes this foundation clings on to my dry patches my skin hasn't been as dry lately so I thought I'd just reach for this one I feel like my beauty blender like gets old and worn out so quickly and like I don't know if it's just me but like when you first get it it's like nice and pink and like obviously like the dye of the beauty blender like goes away but, I don't know, it just feels different. For color correcting, I'm going to be using the NYX Color Correcting Concealer Palette. And this one looks like this. And I am just going to be taking the peachy shade with my finger and using that to cancel out my under eyes. And I'll just keep it there. And then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline H Rewind Concealer and in the shade of Neutralizer. And I'm just going to apply this right here to conceal my under eyes and to highlight and brighten my face. I'm just going to do it there, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. I'm just going to take the tip of my beauty blender and blend that out. I'm just going to apply that to my eyelids to conceal any veins. <clears throat> then I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. brush and the RCMA No Color Powder and apply that under my under eyes just to set the eye and prevent the concealer from creasing. I'm just going to do that. Oh, I just poked my eye. <sighs> then I'm going to go into my Anastasia Contour Kit and apply the shade right here and I'm gonna mix these two together just because in the picture she looks like she's very nice and bronze I mean she has like she's she has like a beautiful tan already and we have to mimic that I'm just gonna bronze the face does anyone else get so annoyed with their baby hairs when they're doing their bronzing like or is it just me now that we're all nice and bronzed, I'm going to be taking the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose and my forehead. In the picture, she looks like she's very, very highlighted in certain parts of her face, including like right here. But you know, that might just be the flash, but I'm just going to do it because why not? kind of blend that out and to contour my nose I'm going to use the Morphe M174 and the shade I'm going to use is the shade in the middle but yeah nice and just then I'm going to take some of the highlight and apply it to the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose. And now onto the eyes, I'm going to be using the Naked, um, the Naked 3 by Urban Decay. This is just like a rosy toned palette. First I'm going to take the shade Nooner and apply that to my crease as a transition color.
I'm gonna be taking this shade of Muksha and apply that all over my lid. Honestly, for all I know, that picture could be edited and I'm just doing something completely different from what she actually had on, but I'm just doing it based on like the edited picture. Now I'm gonna take the Morphe M433 and just blend that with the transition shade we used. Now with the Morphe 213 and the shade Trick, I'm gonna apply that to the middle of my eyelid. And then I'm gonna take the shade Dark Side and with the same Morphe 433, I'm gonna apply that directly into the crease just because I feel like she has a little bit more of a darker look than what I had on before. I'm gonna take Dust and apply that to the inner corner and then just work that up from my tear duct to like my inner crease air area as you can see right here just like that then with the clean morphe e36 i'm gonna take nooner again and just apply that to my bottom lash line take dark side again and apply that right near the lash line Then I'm just going to take the shade Strange from the palette and highlight my brow bone. And then with the same brush, I'm going to take Mary Luminizer and kind of just apply that to like my brow bone, but like to the middle of my brow bone rather than like where you usually apply it, just because that's where she looks like she has like the most highlight. And then I'm going to take Mary Luminizer and apply that right there into the inner corner where we applied that other highlight just to make it pop a little bit more taking Jessie's Girl liquid liner and apply that and wing it out So I definitely think her look was more like on the warm side rather than the pink side, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to be taking this Jessie's Girl pigment in the color brown sugar and just like apply this to the crease. I'm taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara and just coating my lashes with this. And then to the lower lash line, just to bring it all together. I know some people don't like to do this, but I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I feel like I always have to do this. Otherwise, like, my look won't come together. Oh, no. It happens. And now I'm going to take this NYX Wonder Pencil. This is just like a nude pencil and apply that to my waterline. I should have done this before the mascara, but... I forgot. I'm gonna take some tweezers and the duo lash adhesive and just apply that to my eyelash. These are Ardell lashes in the style Demi Wispies. Here we go. While my eyelashes are drying, I'm gonna take Melba and this is just like a peachy matte shade and apply that right on top of here. Not too close to the apples on my cheek just because in the look she basically just looks like bronzy and like highlighted and she has like a little bit of a rosy peachy tone over here rather than like on the apples of the cheek. So I'm just going to apply that lightly. So as you guys can see, I already put my lips on because my camera decided to stop recording. So on my lips, I have a combination of NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Push Up and this MAC Cream Sheen Glass in the shade, in the shade, in the shade of Boy Bait. This is just the closest combination I could come up with with the stuff I had to her picture. She just looks like she has like a nude glossy lip. And now back to the eyes, I'm just going to finish applying the eyeliner to cover up the lash line and like any dried up oh my god ew any dried up glue 
And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me any feedback on the comments below. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.